everyone good morning it's princess Anne and Mika Obiangela, and this is day 84. remember the last time when we saw that um apostle paul and all the apostles were on the way to somewhere in Turkey, and the spirit of god restrained them but then apostle had a dream where he said there was a certain man in macedonia begging him to come over and help so now they're in macedonia from second corinthians 7 verse 5 it says but when we came into macedonia we had no rest but we were harassed at every turn, conflicts on the outside and fears within. Sometimes we feel like because God has sent us to an assignment, we will not have challenges. I used to think that way when I was way younger as a teenager. I thought, oh, because the Lord called you to do this, you know, certain things that, should ha that were happening shouldn't be happening. Until we learned that challenges are part of the deal right so apostle says apostle who's teaching us how to how to you know set the lord evangelically or any other way you want to be a witness for the lord he said that when he went to macedonia that he was convinced because of the dream that god was sending him there was harassment and there was conflict in fact this apostles even had themselves stoned many times beaten apostle says he's even been shipwrecked three times all for the gospel we have to come to a place of agreement where we accept that there might be challenges, but those challenges will not swallow us. Those challenges will not destroy us. Those challenges will not bring shame to the name of God. Apostle Paul said he also had fears. He had fears within. I'm working on myself to come to that place where there are no fears because when the Lord gives you a word, you can actually hold on to that word. Many things will happen that don't look like it. I mean... <laughs> I find sometimes I catch myself like, okay, okay, you know, even outrightly doubting, maybe, maybe it wasn't the Lord. Can we be real here? But okay, maybe it wasn't the Lord that said that. But I've seen that if it is Him, He will come through. Apostle Paul had his fears, but he still did the work. And we see how God was able to um, solidify His work among the Corinthians um, that Apostle Paul worked, worked with. And one of the ways that the Lord sent, comfort or reassurance that he actually was the one who sent apostle Paul to macedonia was that he gave titus as a gift to apostle paul i actually can see that even in my work with the lord he sends you people at distinct times in your journey who become sons of consolation like you said barnabas not just because they are assisting you financially no this was not necessarily about finance for apostle paul and um it was more about, like you said, um, look at this verse, verse 7. And not only by his coming, but also by the comfort you had given him. Because the, the people that sent Titus to visit gave financial like financial support and all of that. So, But beyond the financial support, it's that the thought of knowing that God cares about me enough to send this person at this time to either give you a word to either be praying for you or let you know that oh they're praying for you all of these things are god's way of telling you i am in this with you so to wrap this up i wanted to let you know that as you go out for your outreach so you go out for evangelism if you got to do the work of god in any dimension he has called you to serve i wanted to know that you might have fears within you might have harassments without but god will never leave you without an assurance of his presence and he will certainly bring to pass any promise he has made to you so in conclusion go out boldly for the lord don't allow the fears within or the harassment out to make you have a change of mind i'll see you tomorrow